This is Earl White, real estate attorney. One common question I often get, at least every few months, is whether or not a seller can sell a house in New Jersey with an abandoned underground oil tank. Sellers definitely can, and it does happen somewhat frequently where the seller can sell like that. And as long as it was abandoned properly, usually that does not present any, any legal issues to sell with the tank there. The issue, the, the bigger issue, the bigger question isn't whether a seller can do it, it's whether a seller should or is actually able to execute on the sale. Now, the reasons a seller would want to sell without removing the abandoned tank, you know, save, you save some money, you know, it's like $1,000 or so. It's not, it's not a huge, as long as it's, you know, 500 to 2,000 gallon tank, it's not going to be a large sum of money, more than a few thousand dollars just, just to have it removed. But there could be, if, if for some reason when it's removed, there's some evidence of contamination, of past soil contamination, even, even if it wasn't picked up before, that can then result in a case being filed with the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection and require remediation. So if you do remove it, there is that level of risk that contamination could be identified at that time, which then can get costly, you know, much more than just the removal cost. So that's one reason sellers might be hesitant to remove it uh, prior to closing. Also, it's just obviously stressful to do it, you know, during the sale process or before a sale. So, you know, avoiding those headaches is, is something that's attractive to sellers. So seller can do it and there are advantages, saving some time and some money and some stress to sell with the tank in place. However, I would say more often than not, uh, most sellers do end up removing it for a few different reasons. First is that the buyer pool, and this is a good question to ask your realtor as well. The first is that the buyer pool is just very limited for buyers willing to buy you know, a home, a house that has an abandoned underground oil tank because the buyer doesn't want to inherit some problem in the future. I could tell you from experience, deals, I've had clients that are selling with a properly abandoned tank, you know, properly abandoned in the ground, all permits were obtained but the deal still repeatedly fell, the deals repeatedly fall out of attorney review because once the buyer, the buyer goes into attorney review, but then they talk to their buyer's attorney and by the time they've considered everything, they won't proceed out of attorney review unless the seller agrees to remove the tank. So even if you try to sell it, even so for sellers, even if you try to sell it with the tank in place, and even if you have a preliminary agreement, the deal goes to attorney review. Once the full situation has been explained from a legal perspective, a lot of times the buyers will get cold feet and you'll just end up having to remove it anyway. So also if, you, and if you're insistent on it, then who are the buyers that are gonna be left? developers, house slippers, people willing to you know, take some more risk or handle something like that. Um, and you're gonna take a financial hit on the sale price when you're gonna sell to a buyer, you know, to, you're gonna sell to a buyer that's an investor, a house slipper, and that's a type of issue. Also, it, also, and sometimes it might have to be cash, right? Because I have seen certain, not all lenders, but some lenders, some, some lenders are hesitant to, to make a loan on a property that uh, has an abandoned oil ground tank, even if you have permits. So sometimes for certain loans, I've, we've gotten down the, down the road and then it turns out that the, the loan either gets pulled or the lender begins to insist that the tank has to be removed. So those are other reasons that you may consider you know, wanting to get this tank removed before the closing because you just get more money, run into less headaches in attorney review and during the sale process, have less problem with the lender and you may also end up making more money on the sale in net because you'll have more buyers bidding at a higher price um, if, they're, if they don't have to feel that they're taking a risk or liability risk having to inherit the abandoned oil tank, which at some point in the future, they may have to remove. So that's it for this one. If you need any help with any real estate sales or real estate transactions, give us a call 201-389-8275, 201-389-8275. Thank you.